Y'all, it looks like Stevie J believes that he is going to be the next person to go down after Diddy because the streets are saying that he is allegedly on the run after Diddy got arrested. Like a couple of other artists in the industry, Stevie J has been linked to Diddy in more ways than one, with Lil Rod alleging that Stevie had an intimate relationship with Diddy that went on for a hot minute. Well, the streets are saying that Stevie is terrified of what is going to happen to him now that it's game over for Diddy. Fans are convinced that there are a lot more things that are about to come to light about Diddy and Stevie, so y'all better be sat for this because the drama is about to blow up big time. In case y'all somehow missed the T, our man P Diddy just got arrested by the feds on criminal charges. We kind of suspected that this was coming because he has been getting hit left and right with lawsuits, starting with Cassie's first lawsuit about 10 months ago. More and more people started coming out after Cassie to speak their truth but Lil Rod was the first to name Stevie J and accuse him of allegedly having an affair with Diddy. Lil Rod's lawsuit was pretty explosive because he laid out some of the wildest stuff about Diddy in the lawsuit, including his alleged affairs with multiple artists in the industry, as well as partying with young women in the studio. Lil Rod claimed that Diddy knew that he admired and looked up to Stevie J and that Diddy allegedly used that information to try to manipulate him into having an affair with him. In the lawsuit, he said, Mr. Combs was aware that Mr. Jones looked up to and idolized music producer Stephen Aaron Jordan, aka Stevie J. Stevie J is an American DJ, record producer, and television personality. Stevie J was part of the Bad Boy Records production team, The Hitman. In 1997, Stevie J won a Grammy Award for his work on Puff Daddy's debut album. Mr. Combs used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of Mr. Jones' admiration of Stevie J to and enticed Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality. It's interesting that Lil Rod mentioned that Stevie J only won a Grammy after he started working with Diddy because Lil Rod also claimed that Diddy promised to help him win a Grammy if he had an affair with him, saying, Mr. Combs promised to make sure that Mr. Jones wins producer of the year at the Grammys if he engaged in homosexuality. Now we gotta wonder what it was that Stevie J did for Diddy for him to have won the Grammy. Kinda interesting, isn't it? Anywho, Lil Rob went on to claim that Diddy allegedly showed him a video of Stevie J getting into it with another man, if you know what I mean, and he also dropped screenshots. Lil Rod also wrote, Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J a Caucasian male without a condom. This was done to ease Mr. Jones's anxiety concerning homosexuality. According to Mr. Combs, this is a normal practice in the music industry. Look, even Stevie J is doing it. Even worse, Lil Rod claimed that Diddy got the video of Stevie J without Stevie's knowledge. The court document said, upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. And as is the case with the homosexual of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. However, Lil Rod also claimed that Stevie J allegedly took part in Diddy's freak offs. He wrote, Defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Haptimeriums are officers of Defendants Motown Records, Love Records, and Universal Music Group and knew the names of many of Combs' sex trafficking freak off participants. Young Miami, Daphne Joy, Stevie J, and Jade. If there is one person you can trust to hop on this situation, it's 50 Cent, and he did not disappoint. He tagged Stevie J on Instagram and wrote, Whoa, say it ain't true. What the F, this is a mess. And Stevie J replied, Get your money, Curtis. We know this is entertainment, but ain't no truth to that. He then dared 50 Cent to pull up and fight. I want you to fade. F all that. Since it's entertainment, let me be out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! However, 50 trolled him harder, saying, but he never said it wasn't true, LOL. Stevie J then accused 50 of trying to bring down black men and the black community. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. How, how is that so? I said what I said in my post and I'm standing on that too. Now, since he didn't accept what my offer to him, and he want to continue to be a comedian, why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson and don't talk about me? Hey. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to charity, donate the bread to charity and fight, don't, don't stop being a girl and talking about dudes. But now it looks like he genuinely has good reason to be scared because a grand jury just voted to indict Diddy on federal charges and the situation is about to get messy. The indictment documents were released and with some of the things that were outlined, it's really bad. The documents laid out several incidents of Diddy's misconduct, like this section that said, physical violence by the defendant was recurrent and widely known. 
On numerous occasions from at least in or about 2009 and continuing for years, Combs assaulted women by, among other things, striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. These incidents were at times witnessed by others and included one instance at a Los Angeles hotel in or about March 2016, which was captured on video and later publicly reported, where Combs kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a woman as she was attempting to leave. When a member of the hotel security staff intervened, Combs attempted to bribe the staff member to ensure silence. Combs's violence was also not limited to these women. It extended to his employees, witnesses, to his and others. The lawsuit also spoke out about how Diddy allegedly threatened witnesses into silence, which is why people didn't speak up before now. They were too scared. The document said, members and associates of the Combs enterprise, including Combs security personnel, at times carried fire. On more than one occasion, Combs himself carried or brandished fire to intimidate and threaten others, including victims of and witnesses to his abuse. In or about March 2024, during search of Combs' residences in Miami, Florida, Los Angeles, California, law enforcement seized fire, including three AMs with defaced serial numbers, as well as seen. It also said, when employees, witnesses to his or others threaten Combs' authority or reputation, Combs and members and associates of the enterprise engage in acts of violence, threats of violence, threats of financial and reputational harm, and verbal These acts of violence included kidnapping and arson. In addition, on multiple occasions, Combs threw both objects at people as well as hit, dragged, choked, and shoved others. Well, several people are now coming forward to give their two cents on the case, and it's just as bad as we thought. Maybe even worse. And, and what you see here is the extreme level of predatory behavior, right? This is the extreme of what we see in our investigations, our takedown investigations on True Blue with, you know, predators who come into our stings. This guy is the ultimate groomer, according to this indictment, allegedly, if all these allegations are true. He set it up. He had a fantasy. Then a lawyer gave us a breakdown of how the case is likely to play out in court. Because of the other individuals that were involved, I'm sure you're going to have multiple flipping witnesses. Uh, the government generally, you know, approaches these individuals. They say, hey, listen, you can either be on, you know, <clears throat> the defendant side uh, of the case, which will be more than happy to add you to this racketeering charge, or you can be on the state side or government side of the case and we would give you immunity for X, Y, Z. He also revealed that a lot of people who were involved with Diddy shenanigans have turned on him and are now cooperating with the feds. Uh, my understanding is, is that there was a lot of individuals that were involved. And I think by looking at the indictment and seeing that only Sean Combs is the only defendant currently, who knows if, if that increases and, and it gets superseded with a different indictment. Uh, but currently there's only one defendant uh, my guess is, is that all of those individuals that could have been co-defendants or could have been co-conspirators or could have been involved in a RICO case, um, have flipped on Sean Combs mm -hmm. and they're getting some sort of immunity. A defense attorney also gave some insight as to what route Diddy's defense attorneys are going to take. I'm assuming that if this were to, something like this were to go to trial, the defense is going to be, yeah, he's a freak. He's having freak offs. He's a freak, but he's not a criminal. And is, is sex lube really evidence? I mean, who, am, who amongst us that doesn't have a bottle of sex lube can cast the first stone? I'm assuming that that's going to be one of the one of the angles that the defense is going to take. If these experts are right, then a lot of people tied to Diddy are going down for this. And it wouldn't be surprising if they're all falling over themselves to take plea deals and turn on Diddy to save themselves. And considering Lil Rod's allegations against Stevie J, it wouldn't be surprising if Stevie J would be swept up in this, which explains why the streets are now saying that he could be on the run now to save himself from this mess. Fans commented, Stevie J did what now? These Diddy allegations can't stop, won't stop, and everybody catching strays. Notice that Meek and Stevie J defended Diddy because they also partake in the same behavior. Meek was Nikki, y'all didn't believe her when she said that though, and Stevie was doing the same, controlling and manipulating things to Jocelyn. Y'all just glamorized it. And F Stevie J too, talking about some pray for Diddy on his IG live. It's room in prison for him too. And Stevie J be effing Diddy, so I expected nothing less. Yeah, I mean, as far as everything we've seen, that all makes sense. You know what I mean? Like I'm uh, about Stevie J being on the run after you know, Diddy's arrest, because we know that Stevie J is in those types of circles, you know, more than likely guilty of these types of similar atrocities, allegedly, okay? 
But one thing that I think is always so funny about Stevie J is whenever he gets mad, he does that rat face. Like, he'd be like, he, he like, he, <laughs> whenever he gets mad, he always goes like that. Like, he, he like, uh, uh, 50, Curtis, Curtis, we gotta fight, Curtis. We're gonna fight, Curtis. Like, that's how he talks, bro. That's how he talks. I don't know why he does that. That with his lips, where he crunches his lips up like a freaking rat. Like, <laughs> I don't know why he does that, bro. But he be mad, bro. When he's mad, he crunches his lips up like a rat, bro. And that's funny. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, as far as Diddy's defense goes, they might try to argue that, you know, yeah, yeah, he's a deviant, but he's not a criminal. But that argument doesn't hold up because the footage that we've seen with him and Cassie clearly shows him committing a crime, right? So you understand? So that's the that's the problem with that. And um, that defense just isn't going to hold up in that type of way. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it may. It may have some type of, some type of uh, validity right now, you know, as a defense, but... Especially as more comes out, uh, apparently there are tapes of these things going on, and that will show really proof of crimes potentially being committed. Allegedly, that may show proof of those. That may show proof of these crimes being committed. You know what I mean? And at that point, y it won't just be about baby oils. Okay, it it's it'll be a lot deeper than that. So, this could I I think this can um this can get really ugly really bad. Um, depending on what they find. And they said they found tapes. They said they found um, weapons. And yeah, so um, once all of this stuff is revealed of what they've actually found precisely in those tapes, in these things, and all the evidence that they have, I don't think it's going to end up good for Diddy, man. I don't think his defense is going to have an easy time with this case, man. It is not going to be good. And um, his likelihood of beating it is just low. We know that his likelihood is... Um, 1.8, isn't that the likelihood of, uh, against the, uh, feds? So, yeah. He's, he's cooked. Cooked. Diddy is cooked. Okay? Like, he's just, he's just not gonna be able to... I don't see him making it through this. And they say that he's on, um, the self-deletion watch. Okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. They say that Diddy is on self-deletion watch. So, um... He's already getting pushed to the brinking point, and it's not even been a full week, okay? He was just put into custody, like, a few days ago, okay? And so, the fact that he's already being pushed to that breaking point, it kind of shows you where his resolve is. He can't make it through something like this. He's been living too much of a luxurious, luxury-filled life, you know, to this point to where, um... He's so used to all of these things, you know, he's so used to all of these luxuries. He's so used to all of these things being available. He's so used to being able to move, go here and there, make this type of move, do this and having all this control over everything. But all of the control that he had over everything is taken now. It's all been taken away from him. Now he's being strangled with a with a with a strong grip. OK, and um, the, all his control is gone. OK, he can barely breathe up in there. His control is gone. He can barely breathe. He can't even control what type of meals he's getting. Um, he may be able to buy some honey buns and some, and some snacks, but this ain't the six nine. This ain't no six nine situation. Okay, they're taking this serious, and they're saying that he ain't getting out on bail. You know, they're saying he's a danger to society. You know, um, apparently he's allegedly tried to contact multiple witnesses and tamper with the ongoing investigation. And um, so for that reason, you know, obviously you cannot have someone who you're investigating tampering with your investigation for that obvious, clear reason. They're going to have to keep him locked up and um, they've denied him bail. So um, he's going to have to face the consequences of his actions. There's not going to be an escape route this time, buddy. You're not going to be able to fall on a cushion to save you. This ain't Sky Zone. OK, my boy, this ain't Sky Zone. All right. You're falling out, you're falling out the sky, you're falling in the air, and there's no plushie to land on. You're done. <laughs> you're about to hit the concrete real hard. You're about to splat.
Diddy, you're about to splat, okay? And there ain't gonna be no, there ain't no uh, jumping pad. There ain't no, there ain't no trampoline to save you, my boy, all right? There ain't no trampoline from the movies to save you this time. When you splat, you're gonna splat flat dead, flat, okay? And that's gonna be the end of everything. That's gonna be in the, the end of everything Diddy related, you know what I mean? And that will be um, the falling of the dominoes, you know? That will be um, the crumbling of the cookie, you know? The falling, the, 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 that will be the Jenga blocks coming down, you know? The, the whole Jenga tower coming down. You understand everything, everything, it's all over. This is the final gambit, the final moment. Like, he better, like, his lawyers better go Super Saiyan, bro. Like, they better, I don't know, bro. His lawyers better put on some Batara rings and, and fuse into freaking Vegito. Like, they, they better, I don't know what they're going to do. They better become the most super lawyer ever. Like, I don't know what they're going to do, bro, because this defense ain't going to hold up. When they, when they drop them tapes that they've said that they already have, this defense is not going to hold up, my guy. So, I don't know what his defense team is going to do, bro. They're going to have to fuse. They're going to have to become Super Vegito. <laughs> like, 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 literally, they're going to have to become Super Vegito. Because um, they're not taking on this case the way this is, bro. It, it, it looks like it's really wraps for Diddy. It looks like it, this is what it's looking like. I mean, obviously, we'll see more as the case goes on. But, yeah, bro. So, I mean, just look at the things for what it is, you know. Look at the things that they are showing us. The things that are part of observable reality. They are blatantly visible. Blatantly apparent. Which is the difficulty that it will be for him to get out of a situation like this. That is blatantly apparent. They have already been planning this. They were planning the raid before it even happened. This is the new. This is the situation for Diddy. You know, so. Um, yeah, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think about this whole situation? You know, do you guys think that Stevie J is uh do you guys think stevie j should be worried after diddy's arrest do you know do you think that you know he's next potentially he may be one of the people that they said um is associated because they did say that diddy had associates who helped him carry these things out so do you think that stevie j may have been one of the associates who was in the back of the room with the <laughs> stacking the baby oils <laughs> and preparing the next the next freak off do you guys think that stevie j might have been a part of that potentially assisting in some of these crimes um what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments below because i'm definitely interested in that and if you enjoyed the video like the video you know um subscribe turn on notifications all of that do the thing that allows the algorithm to know that this is content that the youth needs to hear that the, that people need to be enlightened to the truth the reality of the situation the reality of the agendas that are being pushed on the youth in Hollywood, these are things that need to be known. And um, the only way that these things are known, that the algorithm knows that these things are important, is if you do show the support, is if you do do the thing, if you do like, if you do subscribe, if you do turn on the notifications and comment, you know, even if you do one of those things, any of those things are important. So, um, yeah, y'all. But if you enjoyed the video, like the video, and yeah, the snow is right here. Be easy, y'all.